So the midheaven opposite the IC, the IC is where you're coming from, how you're in personal integrity, how you, if you get your feelings hurt, if you get, if you get your feelings supported, how you per, take it personally. That's just IC. The midheaven is how you take things outwardly. So if your boss is going to get mad at you and they talk, they chew you out and find out other people. That's social functional power, and that's going to affect your status and your integrity out in the world. So that status and integrity and your attitude to that is in your midheaven. So the sign there is the sign of how, what, what attitude, uh, what it's the attitude you take to the position you have in the world, to the career, to the status, to the friends, to the enemy. It's the, it's you out in the world and who you are, you know, and what respect you get. And are you useful? Can you accomplish things? Or are you not? How high did you climb? How low did you go? Like, so, so people with their planets and their suns below the horizon may not try and live up to the ice mid heaven that much. They want to have their lifestyle. People that have a lot of planets below the horizon, they want their lifestyle. They don't want the status. People with everything above, they want the status. They don't want to have to live up to it. So there's many different ways this any sign there can show. But the sign in the MC, again, we go through the categories. It's the best way to do it. You don't forget anything. So it's rising. You're going to feel, I got to instigate, I got to do more. I got to make something more happen. I got this position, I want to do more. I got the status, I want to do more. You're going to be using your status for independent. I have this position, so I have the ability to do this. I have the position, I'm going to get more from it. It's going to be the independence increasing. I want to be more independent, more free, more time for myself. When the, And again, when the daylight is greater and nighttime is greater, you're going to have definitely i'm i'm here this is my job i'm here you're my servants and my workers but i'm the one i'm the king of the castle i'm the one this attitude is going to affect your status the independence or i'm here these are the responsibilities here's what we all have to do here's what the work has to be done these are the responsibilities and how we have to function together so the authority and your attitude to authority although it's there with saturn on your midheaven, it's how you actually functioning in the world and your attitude to that, what's responsible there. Is it worth holding to the job? Is it, if you took on a job, is it important for you to follow it through or to complete it or not let other people done? What? How do you do that? You know, so each sign is going to have a different attitude of how you control and direct and have authority or not authority around other people. If you have a job, it's the attitudes are going to apply to how you're dealing with everyone. I'm the boss, deal with it. Or let's work together as a team. And because you're so functional, that everyone gives you respect and you can work with people. So the freedom and the responsibility, it's two different things. It doesn't mean one's better than the other, but certainly if you're more if you have the responsible sign, there's a tendency to be to be sensitive to those in authority and to be trying to work as the team. Whereas you could someone could be a real team player, but they're a real responsible person, but they're doing it independently and they're getting their independent roads and they're being paid well. And I got the job, it's paying me well. I can do what I want. This is good. As long as I'm doing it, don't mess with me. But the other type would be, I got the job. I got, I'm here. I got to help people. I got to do things. Do you think this is okay? They may be more interactive with other people in their status. So simple little thing, but that idea of interactive or not interactive in authority it's a huge difference of how the boss functions. So you might see a boss, their personality and their position, but if you see their chart, you don't see the personality. You can see what they're projecting and where they're coming from to project that and how they function to achieve things. And certainly is incredibly useful if you're trying to hire someone to see if they can do a job and it's going to work the way you want or not. So then this status or this position of authority and what you can achieve and how you can use your energy and, and affect other people to get more things done. That attitude, if it's in a masculine sign, air, fire or air, you're going to be projecting. I'm the one for this. I'm this position. I'm doing this. Do this. You're going to be proje projecting your authority or your status. You're going to be pushing for it. You're going to try to make it happen. You're not going to be passive about it. When it's in the feminine sign, yes, you're going to be more your status is going to be receptive to other people, to the demands of others and needs of others and the time demands. One can be very independent and take care of those things, but in being very independent in position, you may not be as responsible. You may not be as tuned in to the demands of the job. 
You know, many people think they're doing great in their job and not really helping anybody else. They're just helping themselves. So there's no, there's a wide spectrum. You can't just say someone's just like this. You have to see, you see the attitude. You see the attitude coming on the mid heaven. You ask them what job they're doing, how they're getting along, how people relate to them. It wouldn't be very long before you're seeing how this works. And then you'll see the opposite, what motivates them on the other side. Why are they working? So I have their home. Or this, or I'm motivated and I'm proving I can do this. You know, it's just the IC and the MC are interwoven with each other. Home and career are always making demands opposed to, opposed to each other. Just like my identity and my relationships, the ascent and descent are always opposed to each other. How I see myself and what I'm putting out is the opposite of how other people are reacting to me. So uh, the MC is opposite the IC. So the inner motivation and the, the outer career could say, I've got to go to this convention. There's a big thing that I've got to go to. I've got to be away for a week at this convention. So a week you're away from convention, you're away from home. And in the status of convention, there's all kinds of parties or other things going on. Do you have the affair or don't you? The home's not going to know about it, but it will affect your integrity. These are the type of challenges between the MC and the IC. So when transits or in aspects, whenever aspects come up, any planet, Touching the MC is also touching the IC. It's not just about career, it's about how you deal with it. It's not just about identity, what you're projecting, but how you're responding. Okay. Science. Then you got the cardinal fixed mutable. If you're in authority and you got cardinal sign, you're gonna make things happen. You're gonna push things. Other people may like it or not like it, but you're gonna use your position and be pushing for things. That's the cardinal sign on the midheaven. Driving, pushy, bossy, authoritative, useful, functional. When it's fixed, you're going to be established. It's got to be done this way. I'm going to do this way. I'm staying in this position. We're holding this and we're getting this done. We don't want to change the way it works because it is. So the, the fixed signs are going to resist the change, but try and be fixed and established in where they are. 